Okay, into video two of our uh, shopping receipt. So, although we've got um, the dog and the badger in 45 and 50, we've got no way of um, actually keeping track of the total. So, at the beginning, I'm going to put total is equal to zero. And then what I want to do is, with a current cost, although we're going to add it to this array, I also want to do something else. I want to put total is equal to the current total plus the current cost, okay? So essentially, total is zero, and then as we add, say, the dog in, which is 45, it takes the current total, which is zero, plus the current cost, which is 45, so then total now becomes 45, and then on the next loop, it takes the current total, which is 45, and then adds the next item, which is 50, so therefore it updates total to 95, okay? And then at the end, we can get it to print uh, the total, okay? And let's just try that again. So, please enter the item, let's go with a dog again, 45, yes I do, badger, um, 50, have another item no so therefore look you can now see it's now got a grand total of 95 so this idea is is that we want to start um, formatting this so that it, it looks a bit tidier okay so what we'll do is we're actually going to get rid of these in a moment um, at the moment we've now got our receipt working whilst another item is equal to true um, it's gonna um, keep adding and adding and adding and adding, whether we have two items or 100 items, it's just going to keep on adding it to the arrays and the total. And then here, um, we want to just um, print them all off at the end, okay? So how are we going to do about that? Well, firstly, we're going to have to um, loop. So let's, while um, we're going to need maybe x, whilst x is less than or equal to the length of array items oops Stacey. array items okay so whilst it's less than or equal to the length of the items um, we want to print array items and then the current value is x okay now at the moment we haven't got x as any value so let's just put x equal to zero so it starts at zero and it'll go all the way through the items so print array items x okay so let's just see if this works in a moment and um, let's just print the cost as well so array cost and the location of x which is zero so that will be the dog at 45 so let's run this okay will we get a syntax error yes we are because Silly Mr. Bob Balls, forgot to run them in there. Okay, here we go. So please enter the item, our pet dog. And he's going to be 45. And we're also going to have a pet badger. Um, and he was 50. And no, we don't have any more. Now, you can see, it's just going to keep on, keep on, keep on going. And that's because we're not incrementing the while loop, okay? So, x is equal to x plus one. Okay, so let's just see how that goes. Let's try it again. Dog, 45. Yes. Badger, 15. No. Okay, we get an index error out of range. Okay, so let's just take that equals out. Let's try again. And this is with it with um, Python. You you do have to don't think for a minute you're going to get it right first time because often that isn't the case. There we are, perfect. Okay, so it won't go to equal than uh, the array because actually that is the last item. It, the the less than is kind of the last item. As soon as you put the equal in, it will try going through the last item which isn't there. Okay, so hopefully now. As you can see, that's worked. We just need to kind of format it. So let's have print um, item um, as a string plus, we can put these in here. 
like so. Um, and then we can do, whoops, cost plus. Okay, let's just quickly double check this. Make sure it's happy with that. I already foresee a problem. Maybe you can um, spot the item here, uh, the spot the error. Um, basically, here is our error. We're trying to squish um, a cost in, which is an integer, along with a string. So it's saying here it wants to force it to a string. Okay, and you can see, and I've actually done this deliberately, the fact that I'm constantly um, having to do this. And this is actually standard practice in programming. Um, you know, you will be trying your code out all the time. There we are. Brilliant. Okay. So cost 50. Let's just maybe format that a little bit. Space. B. Okay. So then that will come up as um, cost. And then we could even put it as there. And same with item. We could put that there like that. This is just kind of tidying it up a little bit. Maybe after each individual item, we want to do this just to make it a little bit tidier. Okay, so now let's just try it. I'm going to change my shop list altogether. Um, in at my pet shop, I'm now going to buy a goldfish. Um, and he's four. And I also would like um, a rabbit for a pet. I've got lots of pets, obviously. 15 is going to look like a zero. I'll have to charge for this. No more items. Okay, here we are. Item goldfish cost 4 MMB. Item rabbit cost uh, 15. Okay, so now you can start to see it um, coming along a little bit. I'm going to stop the video and then I'm going to do another one in a moment.